Sao Biao. Hey everyone, have you ever been to Thailand? I sure haven't yet. It's been a while since I last been, but I'm so happy that there are so many Thai restaurants in New York City to try. I'm freaking excited and maybe I'll get something other than Pad Thai this time. Yes! In this video, we're gonna go throughout the boroughs of New York City and try a lot of Thai food from Manhattan, Queens, and Brooklyn. We're gonna start in Queens. Are you ready to get transported to Bangkok? Keep dancing with the I got the butterfly tea jasmine soda. Refreshing. <laughs> Annie said don't steal her words, so I had to. I had to. It's refreshing. Hmm, refreshing actually though. <laughs> Does this look like Thai food from Thailand? I think it's more colorful here, more pretty, really aesthetically pleasing. Especially this restaurant too, like inside, so modern. Beautiful interior, beautiful food. And the food smells amazing. Sweet and sour Tom Yum wings. Bro, I see a lot of good looking wings, but this is like golden crisp looking. Look at this. Beautiful. Word. Cheers. Cheers. Not too much bread, it's sour. This deserves to have its own chain, just with mm. the chicken wings alone. Super juicy, super tender, it's sweet, with a little bit of crispiness to it. It's super satisfying to eat. All right, Kenny, have some before I eat it all. the best chicken wing we ever had in the Thai place. Oh, word, actually. Yeah. Next thing we're gonna eat is the yum puma green mango salad with fresh blue crab. Okay, I'm gonna start with the papaya salad first. Wow! So flavorful. Mm, I love this flavor. Beat me, beat me. Oh my goodness. So last time I had papaya salad, it was spicy to death. Oh no, this is not spicy. It's like really sweet. Mmm, that's really fun to eat actually. Go for the crab. It's raw crab. Do not be oh, scared. Oh, it's raw? I did not know that. I know it's scary, but it tastes oh. so soft. I honestly haven't eaten raw crab outside of my home, so this is actually pretty crazy. You ready? Can't you look scared? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had raw crab before. So. Oh! You ready for this? Say no more. I'll try it. It's still got the blue on it too. It's like straight out of the ocean. All right, I'm gonna try. This took me back to China, man. This is like the late night street food you would eat with some beer and you just chew on this stuff all day. It's a slippery, weird texture to it. I know, it's hard to describe. Try it. <laughs> I'm scared. Mm, it's actually really good. It's not too intimidating, right? No, there's a lot of flavor. I really like it. All right, next one, we're gonna have the Kong head. It's a roasted duck dish. It's also similar in this beautiful coconut red curry sauce. I'm gonna try it. Hmm, it is a lot of satisfying feeling. Maybe just bite into a big piece of meat. And there's no bones in here. So double dipping, I'm gonna get some of the sauce. The duck is really good with the sauce. Without the sauce, you would think you're eating a Chinese dish. But the sauce made it very Thai. The sauce definitely sets it apart. Every time there's sauce, I love drenching it. Mmm, the curry sauce is really good. I made a good choice drenching it. Here's Ben about to play with his food again. No disrespect to any culture, but I'm about to do something super innovative. <laughs> sure, Kenny's laughing too. So for this recipe, we start with a piece of meat, a piece of tomato, some pineapple, some salad with a cilantro on top. All right, I think we have it. Wow. I'm going to be the first ever person to try this innovative duck sandwich. Says himself. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it fell. This is so bomb. All right. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for this curry. This was my personal pick. It's crispy soft shell crab in curry. Soft shell crab, that means you eat the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Big fried shell. Yeah, so it's another satisfying dish. Wow, this looks amazing. All right. Cheers. <laughs> I love this so much. It's soft. You don't have to do any work. It tastes freaking good. And there's no actual hard shells in here. It's like you're eating <laughs> It's like nothing else you would ever find. That's true. Hurry up, okay. Candy, before I finish it. 
can't describe. <laughs> We're trying to be like you. I can't think of anything. Yeah. This is so good. Yeah. So we have one more dish left but before we go on. How is this meal compared to food in Thailand? So in Thailand, the food was very spicy. I cannot handle the spiciness. It's crazy. I actually went to Thailand with candy. What would you think? It was fun. What about this meal though? So good. Is it better if we had in Thailand? Yeah. <laughs> It's just because we can't handle the, the, the spicy level. It was so spicy, yeah. <laughs> My stomach can't handle that. We got the chicken pad si yu. Pad si yu is stir fried flat rice noodles. All right, it looks like a little Ooh. spicy, right? You know what si yu means? It means soy sauce. Si yu. And mine too. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Cantonese too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I didn't know that. I know. <laughs> we just learned about it like three weeks ago. Like, oh, that makes sense. Oh, that's so interesting. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, it tastes the same in there. Mm. And it looks you. <laughs> and there's a cake too. It's spicy. This brings me back to Thailand. Oh my god, it's so spicy. Word. This is actually like not Thailand spiciness, but it's it's pretty up there. Like I'm turning red right now. Yeah, I'm like really weak. <laughs> this is a Thai tea sizzling roti. So it's ice cream, whipped cream on roti, which is butt bread. Oh, I'm so excited. Cheers! <laughs> So good, really? So good. You guys always so exaggerate. Good. So good. Please. Mm. <laughs> wow. That's so good. Our reactions are so different. Because <laughs> we're dessert people. Yeah. It's really good. The, the roti is nice and warm and it's really comforting. It's just hugging your mouth, you know? It's like hugging you. Wow. Manhattan at Gua Thai Ramen and Robata Grill. But question for you, Ben. Why are you so dressed up? Well, obviously because we're on the island of Manhattan. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I'm super dressed up too. You, you look like you're ready for a Pink. basketball game. Pink Power Ranger. Let's it go. Strawberry sato, which were real strawberries in here. Let's try it. It's super sweet, a little sour, a little tangy. It's really good. As a classy man myself, paper straw. I care about the environment. Instead of the regular Thai iced tea, I went with something more refreshing, a leachy juice. I made the right choice. Try it. Mm. <laughs> like a tropical island. Yeah. Oh wow. The decisions you make when you're in a suit is so much better. <laughs> Both really solid drinks, yeah. <laughs> we got two seafood appetizers here, which I'm so, so, so excited about. First thing we're gonna try is the super crispy rice, which is lobster salad, spicy raw tuna, avocado, sweet soy sauce over crispy rice. That sounds amazing. Let's go. Whoa. Oh my. <laughs> Sorry, chef. Okay, let's go. Mmm, amazing. Oh, wow. I love this appetizer. It's like sweet and tangy and savory. And that is this chicken, but it's actually rice in here. It's really, really crispy. Time for the classy person to try. No offense. <laughs> that was a whole mouthful of goodness. Crunchy, it's sweet, it tastes like sushi. That tangy crunch is like nothing I had before. One thing I noticed in the city, restaurants in the city, they tend to like to make the dishes a little more creative, and that's what this restaurant is. It's a creative fusion of Japanese and Thai food. Next up is this sriracha soft shell crab. I love soft shell crabs. Is that soft shell right there? That it's just crunch. It's just crunch there. Hold on. Keep really crunching. This is like eating chips. Definitely a twist because of the sriracha. I like it. This is an interesting presentation. Let me try some crunch first, okay? That's an amazing salad. A lot of texture. Perfect for a classy person like myself. Wow. Bua Thai? More like best Thai. <laughs> 
Sometimes the fried stuff could be a little tricky, like fried calamari in a regular Thai place, but this place does really well. Next up is the Ayun Hayan noodle. First time trying Thai ramen. It has a spicy base, and inside there's also beef belly. Let's go. Oh my, this is a different experience. There's a lot of beef in here, and this ramen looks amazing. Oh, I wonder how spicy it is, because you know Thai food can get very spicy. Yeah, they don't play. No, they don't play. I'm scared. Right off the bat, put it in your mouth and you're just so much beef flavor. And I'm just eating the noodles right now. Like the broth is really soaked into the noodles. Beef belly time. This is organic. This is house smoked. And it must be delicious. Oh, you're gonna love this. Go ahead. Oh, finally, my turn. <laughs> so this ramen looks more like heavy broth noodle. And also the ramen is in the restaurant's name, so we know they're not playing. It's like the beef from the pho. It's like some quality cooked just right beef. It's a little thicker though. A little thicker but very soft, very right. fatty. This is like the real stuff. This is all the real stuff from vegetables, from all the beef. It's almost like they create another version of the pho. This is the bami gyo mudang and blue crab. It's a Thai spinach noodle with blue crab right here, pork belly and spice and uh, crispy wonton. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of each. Okay, I'm ready. Chef specialist for a reason. Taro custard brulee for dessert. Delicious! You actually taste like taro. This is like soft cake with taro. Mm. Uh, I'll save one for you actually. Nah, I'll just kill it. No, I'll save one. Go ahead. No, kill it, kill it, kill it. Mm. I'm gonna eat it. You're gonna be like, it's a test, isn't it? You pass the test. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Thanks for the last piece of salmon. Mm. <laughs> What's up? Hey everyone, we are in the amazing neighborhood of Elmhurst, which has so many, so many Thai restaurants to choose from. Yeah, right here is actually the border of Woodside, Jackson Heights, Elmhurst, all these places. And people actually call this area the Thai town. Spicy shallot, we're gonna go here tonight to eat. This is one of my favorites. That's funny because there's a Thai place across the street, there's one down the block, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so there's a lot of options. There's and this one, one, you know what? I'm not gonna tell you anymore. Let's find out later. All right, let's go. tonight. Actually, we got six drinks because don't forget the water. I wonder which one I should drink from. Drink from all of them. Hey, I'm, I have my suit on. Stay classy. <laughs> I don't have a suit on. <laughs> this is Thai tea in a mason jar, but you know, Sahih Shalit serves Thai tea in a whole pitcher. One of the only Thai places that serves Thai tea in a pitcher that I know of. That's what made Spicy Shalit set itself apart. But of course, they have amazing food as well. Anyway, Thai tea is one of my favorite drinks of all time, of all time. Peach mojito for fancy people. <laughs> Still on that. <laughs> this is so bomb. Lychee mojito. Yum. You can taste the mint leaves and the lychee. Whoa. Look who I am. Don't try to be like me. Stop That's it. who I Just am. Put that pinky down. <laughs> oh, wow. That's beautiful. Thank you. How do we even start? There's a lot to go through. I'm so excited. <sighs> oh, come on, fancy person, let's eat. All right, my dudes. We're gonna start with this crab meat fried rice. It looks awesome. Mm, that white was like pure crab. I could get full off of this. All right, Ming. One thing I find you're really good at now is exaggeration. Hey, this is not an exaggeration. All right, let's see. <laughs> Oh, I taste the crab meat right away. The little crunchy, starchy crab texture. You definitely taste that too. That's some solid rice. Right? I, I'm not a rice person, but this is good. All right, what's next? Maybe this one? Yeah, that's the crispy kung fu salad. Oh, sorry. Honestly, I was a little stressed out looking at this dish. I'm like, no way I could finish this. But it's actually like nice and flaky. This looks more, less intimidating, I would say. Okay, well inside that not intimidating dish is steamed shrimp, calamari, shallot, scallion, cashew nut, and spicy lime sauce. Mmm, too good. This is watercress to its full potential. Like Asian kids become doctors, full potential. Watercress, full potential. I just dip it in. Oh yeah. Soak it, swim in there. Mmm. 
It's so fun to eat, so crispy. Let's try the calamari. Big fan of this salad. That's a salad, yo. That's legit a salad. <laughs> it's salad. <laughs> I just had to sure. double check. It's salad. <laughs> we got a whole red snapper here, a whole fish. And guess what? Also, it comes with mango salad on top, which I'm so happy oh, about. Oh, so you could skip the appetizer. <laughs> two in one. Yeah, two in one. I love that. I love two in ones. I love inside out things. I love cute little things that are supposed to be big. Hey, yeah. yo. <laughs> anyway, let's eat. Mm -hmm. Mango salad. It's delicious. Papaya salad is delicious too. So papaya salad is like crunchier. Mango salad is like softer. Don't be intimidated because it's already cut up for oh, you. Thank God I'm so intimidated. <laughs> Look at that. It's all meat here. Easy to eat, honestly. Mm-hmm. I love fish so much. It's like crispy on the outside, and inside is like chewy, delicious. You're like making love to that <laughs> fish. Mm. Fish no more. Beautiful piece of white meat right here. Honestly, very satisfying just looking at it. Then I'm gonna put this whole piece of meat in my mouth. Wow. Like a lot of bad Asian kids, their parents force you to eat fish. They say, oh, if you eat fish, you become smarter. They're obviously lying. <laughs> Actually, no, they're not lying. Because okay. you're, you're very smart? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, solid. You yeah. know any place that there to make a whole fish like this? We know it's gonna be good. Red curry with duck meat. Cheers. The duck itself has so much flavor and texture to it. And you add the spicy curry sauce on top. It's like I need two brains just to process this dish. It's that good. Easy to bite into. Your red curry is delicious. A little bit spicy. I learned that actually only the yellow curry is not spicy. <laughs> In our families, like Chinese people love eating duck. Buy like a box of roast duck, eat it at home. We usually dip it in soy sauce. This curry is, it just changes the palate. There's like a lot of ways to make duck delicious. This is one of them. All right, guys, we have this beautiful special roll called the monster roll. It's monster because it's got the eyes looking at you, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay. This is deep fried spicy tuna roll with Connie salad in the middle. I'm very really excited about the Connie salad. Monster Cheers. Mmm. The spicy tuna with all the sauce. Deep fried, oh. great combination. Let me try the salad. Oh, have me salad. Tiny salad. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so glad I came in because I only had food from this place from takeouts. And when you dine in, it's actually a whole different experience. Every experience is amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, I love Queens. I kept my suit on because I love Queens. <laughs> Stay classy. <laughs> Can't go home without the dessert, mate. We got fried ice cream and mango sticky rice. Let's start with this because it's melting. I'll start with you. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh yes. Oh, vanilla. Mm. Oh, I forgot to cheer. Sorry, I was so excited. <laughs> Round two. How is it? Really good. The fire made it amazing. Mm. I was just thinking, like, how does a high cream get fried? That makes sense. When I went to Thailand, we ate mango sticky rice so much. Every single Thai restaurant, we're like, let's get the mango sticky rice. Okay. So classy, right? Mango is back in season. This is soft, this is sweet, and the sticky rice is warm, it's sticky, chewy, really nice contrast right here. I'm you definitely got getting it. a workout in today. A workout with my stomach. I was worried, like, damn, we're so full and we're gonna eat rice. But this tastes like a, it tastes like real street food, like street desserts. I know it's good, Ming, but we, we gotta go. We can't, we gotta stop. I cannot leave a drop of Thai iced tea. Favorite drink. What a great experience here at Spicy Shallot. Still one of my favorite Thai restaurants in this area, even though there's like seven on this corner. When you're in Queens, Thai place, you can't go wrong. It's always a good time. Mm -hmm. But we got one more spot. Stay yeah. tuned. Hey guys, we're in Williamsburg in Brooklyn, and tonight we're gonna eat more seafood at Tiger Prawn Thai Seafood. The name Tiger Prawn just sounds awesome by itself. And we're definitely gonna eat some Tiger Prawn, the namesake. So much seafood, I'm so excited. We ate a lot of seafood in this video, but we're ready for more. Let's go. Tonight, <laughs> a blue tiger prawn. Wait, where are you? I'm here. Right here. Oh, oh. How many Thai tea did we drink this week? Two. Well, me too. <laughs> How, you drink more than me, I think. Yeah, right? I had a Thai tea every meal. Oh, sure. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, 
Song Long. Happy Song Long. <laughs> yeah, Happy Song Long. We just learned it today that it's Thai New Year, so we came at the right time. All the food is super festive. The flavors here are super bold, so we're in for a treat. We're so with this beautiful salad. Yum to lay. It's a little different from the usual salad. It kind of looks like a ceviche, right? It's seafood, there's shrimp, calamari, scallops, and all the other vegetables with noodles in here. I'm really excited for this. Oh my, oh no, I dropped one. Gimme. Mmm. Oh! A little tangy, a little spicy. Noodle bowl. Mm. Slow down, girl. Mm. You're rushing to attract me. This is sour, which I love. I'm a fan of this. Try it. Come on. I could see this being a, a great dish for the summer. I know we're wearing hoodies right now, but it's actually really good right now too. So this place has like a aquarium vibe going. So they're also talking about changing it into a village vibe down the line. Like wooden, brown. Yeah, I see myself eating this on the mountain side some point in time. Next dish, sea mussels. I like it. Look, these are huge. Open. And inside has this. You could pull this out. That's the correct way to eat it. And then you just... Maybe I'll use my fork. <laughs> Very classy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I swear it's good. Oh yeah. It's so soft. It's so good. I actually do like seafood, but you know, I usually go with the salmon and all that stuff. From the name, you can tell this place specializes in seafood, so it doesn't hurt to go a little adventurous. Oh, you got the sauce in uh -huh, there. Uh -huh. Wow. Everything has like a little a hint of sourness to it. Also, they have one of the cleanest. Sorry, I'm a mess. <laughs> They have one of the cleanest kitchen I've ever seen, actually. That's true. Yeah, we toured it. They made everything super fresh, super quick, and the kitchen is spotless. I need some spoons for this because we're going for the hot pot now. This is Thai seafood hot pot. Honestly, I'm so glad we did a whole Thai food video because these are things we never got to try. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. we usually get, you know, noodles and the papaya salad and tom yum soup. Like, we went from Pad Thai to this. Yep, it's sour and spicy too. So much flavor. You like sour food? This place is amazing. I love my Thai food in Queens, but when you're in Williamsburg, you have to be ready to be more open-minded. Like this place, they're extra bold with the flavors. Yeah, extra sour. Extra sour, they were saying. They went a little slow in terms of the crazy flavors, mm -hmm. and as they saw the residents adapt to it, they actually went in and brought in more authentic, bold flavors. Oh. Digging for treasure. Oh yeah. Let's give this beautiful soup a try. Whoa. It's like drinking really savory, rich lemon juice. This is addicting. I see why you drink it. Now, how do I eat this thing? <laughs> I'm gonna peel it like a classy person. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you're not in a suit anymore. You're right. Oh, man. Yeah. Get into this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, goodness. Mm. Too close up, right, guys? It looks creamy. It does, actually. Wow. It's got this gooey paste and on top of oh, it. Oh, that's amazing. And the inside, yeah. Wow, I can't believe this is cooked in a soup. It's so fresh. The shrimp taste is definitely there. Wow. I feel like I just ate a whole lobster, actually. Wow. <laughs> it's time for the namesake. With this thing here. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's not blue. It's only, look. Oh, yeah. I've got a shot of this. I mean, obviously, you haven't learned to not play with your food. <laughs> wow. Bro, that's the size of a lobster. It's literally my face. <laughs> Let me see how big it is compared to my face. Oh, yeah! Do I have a bigger face? Your face is bigger, actually. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright, no more comparing. It looks really intimidating, but inside, this is where the meat is. So you just kind of pull it uh, out like this. And it comes right off. Uh-huh. It's very, very easy. There's shrimp in here! Shrimp. Double shrimp! I'm in. I'm going in for more. This is awesome. Are you gonna tell us what it tastes like, though? It tastes like tiger prawn. Duh. Just come <laughs> here to try it out and find out. Tiger prawn, let's go. Uh, this is so satisfying. This is like a piece of lobster meat. I think I have a new favorite animal. <laughs> this is magnificent. It's incredible. It tastes like the best of what the ocean could offer. Mm, so good. All right, now I can play with the food. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's us eating Thai food for 24, 36, however many hours. And Thai food left over for that many hours also. Yeah, it feels like, you know, three whole days of breakfast, lunch, and dinner Thai food. And it's safe to say that Thai food is still one of my favorite cuisines. I honestly could eat more Thai food right now. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, it's because there's so much variety. We tried Thai ramen, Thai hot pot, tiger prawn, and so much more. If you found this video eye-opening, check out these two videos right here. We'll eat with you again soon. Peace.